Africa Kamsel Yai Boro Nomba Nainu National GSM Operator Kibaro Felentale Gambia Banko Kanjang Sako Milka Kolea Taki Internet Ola Karula Nyim Banko Kanjang Gamsele Kukuto Nafe Gambia Kuto Konojang The fastest data network Gambia Banko Kanjang Star 302 Star Amount Half Seno Lapije Flexi Data Bundle Bundle Jama Saya Timpaje Drink Atom Fok Kwayne Ebe Dao Da Network Ose Taraje Wato Tije Ajia Mouman Sia Koto Boy Faye Je Whatsapp Viber FaceTime Hananga Tana Facebook Insta Twitter Snapchat Gamsele Is The New Look Mobile Ol Ni Mobile Ol Na Mobile Ol Be Gamsele Live I know na bundle o for flexo Gambia la number 9 o You are dealing with professionals Customer satisfaction o Customer la satisfaction o Stewart and Co. Solicitors A legal excellence firm in London That can help you with all aspects of your legal work if you are looking at immigrating to the United Kingdom, Stewart & Co. can help you to set up business, buy houses in the UK, and will deal with all your legal works from start to finish. For all your general immigration work, we can help you with that as well. If you apply for any form of visa, whether student visas, settlement visas, marriage visas, or a child wanting to come to the United Kingdom to settle with the family, we can help you to achieve your goals. Stewart & Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm specializing in conveyancing, immigration, litigation, family law, personal injury, licensing, no win, no fee. Contact us today at www.sk-solicitors.com. In today's world, everything imaginable is on the internet, which is amazing. And to find anything, it is easy. But that's not the case for Lamy. His standard internet connection is frustratingly slow, unable to focus on important things in life. He can't stream a video or search anything. He is fed up with messages like address is not found, timeout connection, and Internet Explorer cannot find web page. That's when his friend Fatima introduces him to Gamtel. At Gamtel, we provide viable, cost-effective, and sustainable internet solutions to businesses and homes. With our nationwide fiber broadband connectivity through Ecoan Gambia Project, you can now say goodbye to slow internet. We provide quality services, blazing speed, and amazing customer services. All these at affordable price. Be like Lani and start using Gamtel broadband internet today. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. Sofi, meo la wusel te ner. Bach na ti halel ak mak yep am na calcium, iron, protein ak vitamin yu bari. Sofi, full cream powder milk la am na 20 gram, 200 gram ak 400 gram. Koko nyam do tuko bayi. Sofi, proudly Gambian. For us, Every day is a new opportunity to make sure our first impressions are always our best and to see possibilities on the horizon. To make our facilities and services more accessible and find freedom all around us. With a location proximity to active markets with a liberal air transportation policy. That daily pursuit is how we turn everyday opportunities for you. For all destination marketing support, Customized packages for new existing airlines and operators and for a highly ranked tourist destination, the Gambia Civil Aviation Authority is here to serve. We regulate air transport, operate and manage BIA technical requirements, merge with commercial considerations. We have experienced and well-trained aviation professionals to cater for your needs. For investment opportunities in building airport hotels, shopping malls, playground for children, do contact us on 4472-831, 4472-893, Gambia Civil Aviation Authority. We go beyond daily. 
tanal manu ba yeng may tanal mababi. Kani yoli mala jo sa sa barem dawela. Jeral manu ba re go mala. Sinina ganon. Jamare. Kini na mo ko jo si bar gima dege siya. Wow loto gie. Wow na ako na yung alchemist buneka, agdumas buneka. Deng tan na juro min nomba si Jack Paul bigo. Kok ganja juro min nomba tegal na ilang hundred and plus thousand. Manam tayo mi juro na agnute. Wow. Wai juro min nomba ida for a mango. Si Fakir na amo juro min nomba yu mango. Ang ganiente nomba yu mango. Yodi na ilang jok bonus for. Bonus for. Bah, what does not it? I'll tell you about the last Allah, but I do. Ah, you gain a word Ben and Jack for. Nekugi am niente no mo yulo kolo. Ita gala fifty thousand dollars. Manam juro fuki juni. Wow. Why na gis nga bo ame niente yu mengo? Ni jo na tam bonus tiri. Ako. Why na kame ko? Gis nga Gambia. Give me body language. Why gis nga B? Give me kame ko. Wow, kame ko buba ka ba? Feren for ta habul C. Why kamu kalau malay kamu? Mau kanan wal dia kelakai. Ia mesti sekarang budi dia kamu ada go malah. Dengan mai kompolo, mana dia kompolo? Nai dia jauh. Kanan melu ngah? Mana nena ngalai lawak? Nena laku kompol laku kau je. Aku lu tu game. Aku ayu bonus sama hewan lamiu bari. Fira kena. 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 Tonight on Kirfat, we have uh, members of the Occupy uh, Westfield movement, a group that we have seen been very, very active recently on social media and have been trending, of course, on Gambian social media. Uh, we want to know what is the mandate of the group. And uh, of course, we have also seen them met um, officials of the government, the Honorable Minister of Interior, the Honorable Minister of Energy, uh, NOEC executive, and of course, the National uh, Security Advisor to the President. Uh, Daddy, tonight I have, uh, we have the pleasure of having uh, Mr. Aluba, who is the chairperson of the group. And of course, uh, Yamalen. Yamalen is the vice chair. And uh, Oli, uh, we are happy to have a lady be um, the vice chair of the group. I mean, that's your gender balance in the group. Um, tonight, we are going to talk to the team because um, um, so many people think this is a very um, big national issue because uh, young people coming out to show um, concerns about things that are happening in the country. And of course, uh, the government also responding by engaging the young people. I think this is a step in the right direction. But of course, first, uh, we want to know what the mandate of the group is, Daddy, uh, because um, some of them, uh, people think uh, this is a national security issue. Others think it's about expressing freedom of speech, some people went all the way <laughs> quoting the Constitution, section sub, uh, 25, mm -hmm. subsection 2. I am not in that field. I'm th I think we should have Halifa here to, to, of course, help us with that. But Yamalen will help us in that area, I think. Uh, Daddy, um, tonight uh, we have the group um, Occupy Westfield. I think they're here to occupy Kirfat. Well, thank you so much, Fatu. I now believe Project Gambia has become a reality. Okay. What is Project Gambia? The new Gambia that we want. The new Gambia that we fought for. The new Gambia that we yearn for and hope we can entrench the values that will become the new Gambian ideals. Right to self-expression is not only a fundamental right, but is a guaranteed right under the Gambian constitution. I may not be in agreement with people protesting against NAWEC knowing what I know, but that's not the issue. The issue is the rights inherent to the citizenry of this country when it comes to self-expression is non-negotiable. It's a given right protected under law, and that law is supreme and sacrosanct to the livelihoods of Gambians. Therefore. I would have believed that the government should have respected the rights of the citizenry that want to go out and manifest their dissatisfaction about anything that is of concern to them. The role of the government should have been to protect these individuals' lives and properties of people within the environment that they choose to. Now, the issue invoking national security I think it's too vague, and I think it should not be used as a cover. I mean, there has to be genuine, reasonable reason to deter such a thing. 
The Gambia we want should be a Gambia built on consensus, not Gambia built on an imperative where someone believes this may be a problem. That's probable cause. We should not deal with probable cause. We should deal with eminent threats. If we don't know that these threats are eminent, we should not violate the rights of others. Um, yes, I think you are right. In, people have the right to um, express themselves. But I think in, in, in every right, there is also um, um, a responsibility to that. And of course, when you say national security threats, you don't see any credible um, um, evidence to that. I, I might not agree with you because you are not a security personnel, so you don't know what other people know. I'm, we'll get in details to all of that, but I just want to make that clear. I hope you you're don't, holding brief. I'm not holding brief for Thank nobody, you. and I never hold brief for anybody. Well, but I'm just saying that it's good to clarify. I don't, you are not a security person, so you might not know what other people know. So we can discuss to agree. Uh, we might agree to disagree, but that's what I f feel, and that's what I believe. Only um, this movement... Um, you know, I, when I saw the movement and all the reaction on Facebook, it reminded me of our GRTS days when we had our issue with GRTS. It was very controversial, and just like them, there are so many other issues. You know, sometimes people will attack you on, you know, like every other government, they have a right to, to, to do or say whatever they want, as long as it has responsibilities attached to it. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on the uh, Occupy Westfield movement? Um, my take personally is, I think everybody is entitled to express themselves. Mm -hmm. Be it they're going out to demonstrate, mm -hmm. be it they on Facebook ranting, mm -hmm. be it any any form of expression. Yeah. But um, Debbie has mentioned that um, it is their right. Yes, which I agree. Yeah. But as you said, and I would agree with you, we don't. There, there are certain things that we might not know. Mm -hmm. And then I think with this occupy still, it shouldn't be based on opinions. Mm -hmm. It's more of a security. If the government or the security personnel think that there's a security threat. <laughs> That's, they know, because mm -hmm. I don't know, and I'm not privileged to that information. Mm -hmm. And then if we just go back a little bit, every time Gambia have held a demonstration, mm -hmm. it didn't turn out well. Okay. It didn't. But this, we is, have, we have but seen, this, but this is the new Gambia, though. This is the new Gambia. Yeah. But then again, new Gambia, it's just like we had a change of presidency, mm -hmm. and then we, we are, this is a democracy that we all fought for, yes. Mm. It is, they are entitled to go and occupy Westfield, yeah. the section 25 that they've all been talking about. Mm. But that same section 25 as well mm. gives the authorities that the mandate for them to deem it necessary to allow them to occupy Westfield, mm. if security would not be, I mean, it would be an issue. Mm. And then when we talk about Westfield, Westfield is a commercial area. Yeah. You cannot, like, the government, if they are saying, as found to be corrected, that they don't have the Person, uh, the personnel or the mandate to protect them. Mm. Who can guarantee that shops around there will not be looted, will not be broken into? Like we, broken into? Who can guarantee that? We will get into that. I think uh, it's also important to 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 to, to note that. Um, of course, I think the government might have the resources because we saw them occupy Westfield on in, on Sunday. So, I so I mean I try to. Going by what <laughs> So I, I don't know. I, I mean, I think uh, we saw them occupy Westfield really on Sunday. So I don't know. Uh, Mr. Aliba, a couple of days ago, I saw you on Facebook make a post. I, actually, I saw the re reposting from some people. It says, and I quote, Y'all all want to do this? Marching, protesting, rioting, for no way to fix the shit? Let's meet at Westfield on Sunday, 9 a.m. If you're all down, holler me. That was you. Mm -hmm. You were not hot, right? <laughs> that was oh, you. Yeah. And yeah, um, yeah. that post <clears throat> went viral. Yes. And that gave birth to Occupy Westfield. Yes. Can you tell us about how that post and what really motivated that post? Um, before I get to that post, uh -huh. or should I start with that post? Then I mean, I, it's up to you. Um, I, um, with regards to what you were saying, um, I don't understand why the presumption have always the presumption of the state towards the citizens expressing their 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 opinion through protest and demonstration. The presumption has always been that they will be violent, that they will breach the peace. Can the presumption be that they can be peaceful? You know, um, that is um, one thing I just wanted to put out there by way of a foot, footnote. Mm -hmm. But with regards to the post, I think I've clarified this over and over. Mm -hmm. That post was inspired by a frustration. You know, people can be frustrated to say stuff. That post, even though gave birth to Occupy Westfield, it's not 
Occupy Westfield. Okay. Occupy Westfield started happening when people came together mm -hmm. and they teamed up with me and her and then we brought this together and then we issued a declaration. The declaration which was issued, um, I think it was on the 26th of October. Um, yes. 26th of October was the birth of Occupy Westfield as a team that is willing to go out there. Yeah, but what, what inspired that post though? Um, okay, so I'm a rider. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a rider and mm -hmm. um, I live in Kololi. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting in my, on my desk. So I'm working on a book. Mm -hmm. um, it's called um, Just Remember to Breathe. Um, it's sort of a, a memoir that captures um, the conversation that happens between personal uh, poverty and the global, global disaster capitalism and, and the patriarchy and everything that is involved. So um, when I was, um, so I was working on this and I was deep, you know, I was deep. Uh, and then I was, I was like flowing and the light just went off like three in the a.m. Wow. And I was like, this cannot keep happening. Yeah. And, you know, and I lost like an entire chapter of the book I was writing. Like I, you know, I was frustrated. And so the word rioting was more of an emphasis yeah. than because if, if we have uh, chosen to riot, we wouldn't have gone to the police headquarters to apply for a permit. Because mm. the one who is um, rioting would not want to have a riot police. You would not want to have the antithesis of what you are fighting against, what you want to do. Yeah, but Fatu, yeah. I have a problem with that. Yeah. I'm in for the right of self-expression mm -hmm. so long as it's responsibly done. Yeah. That's an anarchist statement. Yep. Okay. And um, anarchy breeds chaos. Okay. Chaos is not good for any civilization or society. Therefore, rights do come with responsibilities. I believe in your right to manifest how you feel by way of self-expression in any which way. But the moment you put rioting in that, it becomes incitement. And yeah. we should not incite. That's a problem I have with that text. I've, I read it, and I said, no, that can't be, because he has done good in trying to bring people together to express themselves, yes. which I support. I'm, a, I'm, I'm an avid libertarian. I believe in the rights of people, mm -hmm. and I believe in the right to self-expression. But those rights should be curtailed with responsibility. I mean, I, mean I, have, I have, let me just say this. I have... Um, taken back that word and I've apologized publicly and in our declaration we have said that anybody who is found wanting mm -hmm. with regards to maintaining the peace mm -hmm. of the Gambia will be isolated yeah. and so the Occupy Westfield has isolated that and I have to say this that um, it was um, like um, some minutes after posting it that I have uh, I deleted that yeah. okay? you know, some, and a lot of people said first impression matters the first thing that comes out of your mouth, I'm sorry for the language, yes. matters. Uh, when he made that post, rioting, that word, and then you went to the police to look for a permit because, of course, he has taken the word back. But in our heads, rioting, nah. rioting, rioting. And you went to the police station to, to get a permit, right? Which, of course, every civilized citizen will do. Mm -hmm. And that's your right to demonstrate. You need to get a permit if you want to use a PA system. When you went to the police station, do you think that war riot might have caused the lack of you being issued the permit? No, I am, I am certain that that okay. award in particular wasn't the reason why we were denied the permit. Okay. Because we stated very clearly in the letter mm -hmm. that we sent that we want to gather our citizens okay. you know, to, to um, unify our voices and speak of our grievances. You know, as a way of telling the government that this is a situation that we're in and we want you to put us first because it is really, mm -hmm. really difficult for us right now. And we put it there that we want to gather very peacefully. I think people post stuff on Facebook all the time. Yeah. If you want to take that and use it in the real life and make sure you want, want to um, wrap your decisions around it, it's going to be difficult for everybody. Mm -hmm. So I don't think, because we made it very clear and they spoke to us, they screened all of us. And then we went ahead to the IGP's office and he also spoke to us and he knows that we are all very responsible. We had a long conversation, so I don't think if the permit was denied, it was because of that post of Alios. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Um, do you also think you would have been better? Um, I, we had a show with Noek and they gave us a timeline. Um, did you guys think it was also uh, the first step might be engaging uh, Noek executive, seeing... Um, I mean, I'm just asking, did you feel maybe there might be a 
a way of doing something? Right. Yes, and if I do, mm. I'm a very small, I'm, I'm very young, I'm 19 right now. Wow. And I wouldn't in my wildest dreams ever have thought that I would go and sit in a room with the Ministry of Interior of the whole country. If I walked in on that day, let's say on Monday, the, the day we initially planned the protest, if after that day I walked into the, interior, into the Ministry of Interior, Interior, I wouldn't see the, see the Ministry of Interior. I won't be able to, to express myself to him, right? Yeah. So this way of expressing as expression is prescribed by the constitution. I am certain that the people who constructed the constitution mm -hmm. put into consideration the fact that people like me yeah. cannot meet directly with top government top officials. officials. So yeah. there has to be a medium of communication. Mm -hmm. And this is what we chose to apply. Right? Diplomatic means is, is just an, it's an option. Mm -hmm. And we chose to use another medium of expression mm -hmm. instead of that one because we felt that this one would be more um, um, effective. Yeah. Right? So um, we know that Nawek has its problems. And we know that there's a limit to what they can accommodate. But yeah. we also know that this is a serious issue. And it is really, whether it is the hotels, it is the schools, yeah. it is the offices, it is really affecting it's us. Everywhere. And my friend gave a very good example of this. It's like um, you were living in a village mm -hmm. and a pipe burst somewhere. And um, a dam burst somewhere and the water is really um, getting high. Yeah. And uh, they tell you, we'll fix it in, in a few days. But you know that you don't have a few days. You might not have a few days. Mm -hmm. And then people are telling you, do not yell because they told you they will fix it, they will fix it in a few days. Yeah. And the water is coming up to your nose. You still have to yell. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, you have your own opinion. I have mine. Yeah. You feel it's not necessary for me to go out there. Mm -hmm. But that is just your opinion. Yeah. So you don't have to stop me from going yeah. out and expressing myself. That's true. If you don't want to come out, you can just sit at home. We don't have any problem with that. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we don't have to say anything yeah. at all. Just and that is, right. yes. She's very she's right. right. Yeah. Um, the reason why she's right, we need to decorticate two things. Mm -hmm. Nawek and their personal right to self-expression. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, I'm indifferent to what they want to do with Nawek. Yeah. But I share their concern yeah. as a citizen of mm -hmm. this going concern that mm -hmm. we all care about, yep. the Gambia. Yep. See, the prosperity of this country is a collective effort by all of us. Mm -hmm. You cannot hate Gambia and want to live in Gambia and be a Gambian. No. So, the success of this administration spells success for every Gambian, irrespective of your ideology or political orientation. Sure. Notwithstanding, we mm -hmm. are a country of laws. Our government is the custodian of these laws. Mm -hmm. And they should always respect the rights of the citizenry. And equally, the citizenry should be mindful of their responsibilities prescribed by law. Mm -hmm. So, back to the issue of national security. Yes. For me, mm -hmm. that is a vague veil that can be imposed, that can be used as a means for denial or any other thing. Mm -hmm. We have national security concerns. Yeah. That is too vague. You know, that's why we want an act whereby in a freedom of information, so long as it's not threatening mm -hmm. the peace of the state, mm -hmm. they share with the citizenry. Okay. But there will be a football match. We don't have enough resources. Fine. Can you postpone till another day? That would have been welcomed. But no, you cannot. For me, that is a faux pas, especially in a state that is just newly born. And the reason why this state was born was the right to self-expression, where people gathered and they were killed. People were taken to court. And we heard what their lawyers used as arguments in the court of law mm -hmm. to show that they were within their right to be out mm -hmm. without a permit because they were not using a megaphone or a loudspeaker. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. Progressive societies accept the voice of dissent. And we, the people of this country, want even one person, if they have an issue, they voice it out and voice it out without fear, favor, or ill will and be protected by the state because we constitute the state. Because if you look at Ali's um, post, he didn't only mention the word riot again. Only it was there was protest, there was march. Yes, but people marching, to, protesting. Yes, people right. decided I mean, to what pick out. Yeah, let, 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 let. People decided to pick out that single word and yeah. use it. They could have used picked out protest mm -hmm. and used it, but because these people were against the very notion of us going out to demonstrate, they decided to pick out the word riot and use it against us. But people over there in those offices, they know better than that. Mm -hmm. They know that you don't just you don't just uh, make decisions based on such like a single Facebook post. So they did their their. their 
research, let me say, they know how to do their job. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they should, they have, there's no basis on that. They can base it on um, a post on Facebook. They, they took my details, they took his details, yeah. they, they took everybody's details, yeah. right? Yeah, so, um, second yeah. question? I think my question basically is, like, you don't believe there's a reason why they said... No, no, no. But why do you, what's the main reason? Why do you think they said you can't hold the protest? Like, why? I think, I feel that um, the government mm -hmm. might be worried that if we do this demonstration, it would spark a series of other demonstrations. Like, it will be, a, it will trend, it will be something that is, like, common, right? And that might be difficult for them. And I think it is new, it is something that is very new, and people, change is always difficult. Mm -hmm. And I think they have a lot of insecurities about um, how this would would go mm -hmm. um, if this goes successfully and then every little thing somebody mm -hmm. comes up I think that is the main concern on also they might draw attention yeah to the country and mm -hmm. that Nabek is failing yeah. and all of that and yeah I think, I think that is a known fact I think I think yeah I think also what a lot of people were concerned about was not you you and the rest of the movement it was um, the other people that might have, but we don't have proof to that. But, um, we don't have um, proof to that. Let me, let me come here. Let me finish. We don't have proof to that. But what, like, uh, what I also wanted to come in with, uh, Ali, we saw you met with the, the Minister of Interior and other government officials. And uh, can you tell us um, what, uh, how was that, um, how did that come about? Um, yeah, but before I get there, let me, I've been trying to speak all this time. I'm sorry um, about that. The thing is, um, the, that status update itself mm -hmm. um, was screenshot mm -hmm. before I took out the word riot. Yeah. And it, were, it, it resurfaced mm -hmm. after our meeting with the police. Oh. And, and what had happened is that... Um, Ali, that's what we do these days. Yes. We see a post, we screenshot, and we... Yes, and, and what had happened is they exhausted mm -hmm. every claim that we... The, all these people, the, the person who actually reposted it, mm -hmm. um, has exhausted every um, argument he has against the Occupy. Mm -hmm. And when he had nothing else left, mm -hmm. he decided to blast it out, like this is the last one in the canon, and <laughs> now they have to give up. And, but um, I just want to say this, that... Um, mm -hmm. There is no state, hardly ever any state in the world mm -hmm. at any point, point in history that wants her citizens to dissent. So, the, the, I mean, right now the excuse is a fragile security situation. Mm -hmm. Who knows what the excuse will be tomorrow? Yeah. There will always be an excuse. The state will always have, to have an excuse for the dissent of the citizenry mm -hmm. because the, the government wants to contain. That's what the state do. The state is a centralized uh, uh, um, uh, body mm -hmm. and a centralized body wants a centralized uh, 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 society. It wants uh, conformity, and this is not um, this is not uh, anything but being um, afraid of the uncomfortable truth, uh, being afraid of um, the truth that is spoken to power. That the, this is the the paranoia of power towards those who actually. Uh, the power belong to because we are the sovereign. Uh, so we, we, we power resides in the hands of the people. Mm -hmm. And this is um, when you when you read the Federalist Papers um, that gave birth to more or less the United States of America. Alexander Hamilton, who was one of the lead authors, he said that um, that the masses are the beast, right? And in another place, Thomas Paine, who wrote the Common Sense, he said um, in a in an absolute society government, the king is law. Like in the Ajama's time, he was law. Mm -hmm. Now he said, in a democratic society, the law is, is, is king. Now, you know, there is a nuance here. Mm -hmm. Now, we, they're using the law as king right now to proof down the voice of dissent, the voice of divergence, and to create a conformity, a, a society of conformity. Now, we are saying that we reserve the right. The constitution of the Gambia can revoke this government. Because it's the supreme law of the land. They, they can't revoke, uh, revoke it except they go through a referendum, which is the people. Yes. Now, the people who up, uh, 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 upholds the constitution and the constitution in turn upholds them, we are using that. We are saying, I have the right to go and protest because um, I, I couldn't have ice cream at the supermarket. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, it could be definitely I can go and say, oh, I want every guy to walk on Sunday without a shirt. Because I have the right to protest. It's the state's 
um, uh, 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 responsibility to say, you know what, you have the right to protest, I'm going to protect you. The biggest, yeah, the, let me, uh, um, the biggest threat that we have seen in the Gambia when it comes to a gathering was the APRC rally. They were giving a permit, they mm -hmm. were giving protection. We are unarmed youth. Mm -hmm. We are young people who live, toil, and suffer in this country. And we were there in the creation of New Gambia. I have spoken out against the IGM on social media using his name. Why, why didn't that resurface? Now everybody's saying, where were you when the IGM? I was here, right here. I never went, I never ran away. I never went into exile. When Gambia has decided to happen, I wrote and I spoke out in conferences, you know, with a threat on my life. And so why would I... I, because I contributed so much in the formulation of this democracy, which we want to move out of theory, we want to move out of just a formulation. New Gambia shouldn't just be a useless democratic aesthetic. You know, it should be a lived experience. Absolutely. It has to be a praxis. Mm -hmm. And that is what we want to achieve. Absolutely. That is what we want to achieve. We're going to take our first commercial break. <laughs> uh, when we come back, um, we're going to, um, you know, move forward. You had a meeting with the Honorable Minister and the government um, delegation. Uh, what was the meeting about and what is the way forward? Universal Properties, the dynamic and most trusted agency in real estate and property management. We are here to make housing affordable, accessible, for every Gambia, despite their financial status. What makes Universal outstanding in the market is our flexible payment plans. We set standards in sales and letting of quality properties, mortgage, leasing, rentals, property valuation, construction, and many more. All our sites are fitted with social amenities, such as schools, water, electricity, playing ground, and a good road network. In Sukuta, Phase 1 and 2, Jambanjeli, Sanyang, Brikama, Lamendaranka, and Gunjur coming up soon. Doing business with Universal Properties, it's a very wonderful experience. Universal Properties, FIB House, Karaba Avenue. There are many who can't do small or big projects with the same dedication and commitment as we do. With a reputation as the leading printing company in the country, when it comes to major projects and innovative solutions, we always deliver in high quality, thus receiving the trust and confidence of our clients. From the moment your order is placed to when it is delivered, we believe in exceeding expectations from the sales manager to the production team, the account manager, and the person delivering your material. We have state-of-the-art equipment and a highly experienced and competent workforce that enables us to deliver top quality work on time. At reasonable prices, we provide our clients with multiple solutions right from conceptualizing, designing, printing, binding, publishing, and distribution. For all your printing requirements, we are strategically located at the Sankumsila Highway, the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation. We print what you desire. The Gambia Revenue Authority wishes to inform the general public that income earned from the letting or leasing of property is taxable as per the Income and Value Added Tax Act 2012. In this regard, the general public is hereby informed that payment of rental income tax is an obligation on any person who earns income from letting or leasing properties. All rental income earned from properties in the Gambia is subjected to rental income tax. There are two types of rental income tax. A residential rental income tax charged at the rate of 10% of gross rent received. Commercial rental income charged at the rate of 15% of gross rent received. It is important to note that failure to declare and pay rental income tax is illegal and punishable under the Income and Value Added Tax Act 2012. To pay your rental income tax, rush to the nearest GRA domestic tax office or any of GRA's designated banks. Remember to pay your taxes and on time. GRA, collecting revenue for national development. Uh, welcome back to Kirfatu. Um, I think the first, um, um, the first part was really, really interesting. 
uh, because it was good uh, that we all have our views, and that's what democracy is actually is. Um, Aliu, Occupy Westville, it's a movement. Well, can you tell us what is really the mandate of this movement? You know, when we started this, and I said on my Facebook, um, this is a leaderless movement that um, is spontaneous mm -hmm. and upright uh, and rising. And then later we have to say, okay, there's a leadership because everybody was like, adding and Ragal put your responsibility uh, for whatever happened. Then we were like, okay, we are going to cut it. But the initial intention when I started formulating this with my friends was that we want to create a sort of a direct democracy, a horizontal direct democracy. You know, in a representative, one of the pitfalls of rep representative democracy is that you have one person rep uh, representing over 30, 40,000 in the Gambia, and you cannot know their concern. And we're saying that we're going to create a direct democracy, and this is a model that's been used around the world. In Argentina, they have the horizontally that, and we have heard of Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Central. So we are just following in a tradition, in a long tradition of democratic um, um, experimentation. And um, uh, so we are saying that we want to occupy public spaces, whether it is Westfield, whether it's not going to be protest all the time. It's going to be conversation. So we have a, a, a thing called um, Gambia in Conversation. We have written everything already, how we are going to go ahead with this, where we have conversations in public spaces, where somebody can be just passing like, what's happening here? Like, oh, because for far too long, um, there is this vague thing called youth advocacy, mm -hmm. where they, have, they sit in posh, nice um, conference halls and talk about um, teenage pregnancy and drug abuse, which are very important, but they have become cliched because they have become funding points. And this revolution will not be funded by corporate NGOs. It will be funded by the, the tenacity, the courage, the brilliance, the long suffering of our people. And we are saying that they have to uh, join us because the public space is, 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 is a democratic space. Because the democracy, the demos are the people, and the public space is their space that is open to everybody. That's why we cannot go to a private property then we will be infringing. Mm -hmm. But we say public space is public space. Mm -hmm. And we intend to have conversations about pertinent issues and create people's assemblies. Instead of a national assembly, we have a people's assembly where we can also have our resolutions. We can say, uh, President Barrow, we are concerned that they block the traffic for you every time you're going for Juma. Why do you do that? And we think it's wrong. The people of the Gambia in this assembly, and we can have, you know, we will work out a mechanism on how to do everything. Mm -hmm. But we are saying that we want to give birth to all. A direct democracy. We are tired of having the cult of the personality where one person represents an entire people. This is well, that's why this um, uh, for so long I ran away from the leadership because that was not the goal. The goal was to create um, where people can come without a leader, you know, and they can come, they have their conversations, and they can have a moderator or whatever, you know. And yes. Hello. Um, okay, I'm, I'm equally a youth as, as you guys, right? And then I don't have any problem with occupying Russell because I even said I would go and take part. But then Noek did say we would fix this as Fatih have said at this point in time, right? That's when I said, okay, I'm not going to be part of this anymore. Let's give them time. The timeline that they have said has not elapsed yet. If it does, then yes, I'll be part of it. And we know that Noek is a concern for everybody. It's not like just people who live this area, that area, that are not getting electricity or water. It's affecting everybody. So yes, we know that the government needs to take priority with Noek especially. This is, this is dating back I, I think Norwick first, the lights first went off in 1972 or some, something like that, I stand to be corrected. And since then, this should have been a priority for Gambia. So yes, I respect what you're doing, right? But the way you're just speaking about what you, what you intend to do or what you plan on doing, where you have like the people assembly, where people sit, um, it's, new, it's a new democracy that people don't really understand the meaning of that democracy. Would that not create another situation or another problem where you can get a group of people that are just angry about something and said, let's go to Denton Bridge and stop the traffic because in the morning there is people blocking the road. I mean, there's the, like the police working. You never know what these things will create. So I think maybe people need to be more aware. People need to understand the democracy first before we can start creating these little movements. Because for me, I'm thinking, where's, where's the young? We're still like growing with majority democracy and it can create a whole lot of problem that we, we haven't seen. To okay, um, let me just try to break this down. Uh, first of all, when I answered about the People's Assembly, I was talking about the way forward beyond the protest. That's what I'm the, yes, no, and, and the other thing is that I think it's a very elitist uh, sort of bourgeois way of looking at our people. 
that our people don't, are not responsible, that our people don't understand, we that our people can do things that they, they were not supposed to do. And, and, um, and, and, and no, 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 let me just, let me just clear this. I think okay. this has been going okay. on far too long. Okay. And our people, I mean, there are elements amongst us mm -hmm. that, but to do this blanket statements that our people um, are ignorant about democracy. Mm -hmm. When I invite my people, my friends, or other people in the street and say, oh, here we are sitting, then you're coming we talk about democracy. You think people, somebody is going to come there and try to uh, create something? There's always that concern. Right now, somebody can jump out from this on, uh, from this place and try to create uh, and, and try to create chaos here. Are we going to use that pretext to always try to um, not have these things happen? No. Fatu. Ali, the kind of but also I want to come in here briefly. Um, the kind of um, behavior we see on social media recently, Just all in the name of democracy, is also a little alarming, though. No, What's your take on that? Because we see a lot of young people. We see a lot of, for example, even towards your movement. Every, people are saying things towards you or against you, saying all in the name of democracy. Our, the way people react, the way people behave right now is a little alarming. So I think that's where I'm coming in, because definitely that is really alarming. Yeah, but we have to understand one thing. Any society has what you call a social fabric. The social fabric is underpinned by a social contract. If the social contract is not equitable in terms of social justice, opportunities, we tend to see a problem. What we see on um, social media are undertones. What are these undertones? It's showing an angry population. Angry with who? What they think is success. Angry with who? What they think or deemed to be oppressors, angry with who? People that are different with them. So this government, if they're smart, they will take cue from social media and understand the issues that plagues not only the new Gambia, but Gambia as a whole. Gambia is a battered state that's going through, you know, a transformation. And we are traumatized. We are a group of people who are traumatized, and it's coming out when we talk not to each other, but at each other. Gambians don't talk to each other, we talk at each other. Mm -hmm. But back to this issue at hand. Horizontal democracies are something that any good nation will support. Why? It's a participatory approach to what democracy should be. Democracy should not only be bottom up, but grassroots. I believe and I will continue to believe because it's my fervent wish to see a Gambia where one person can be indifferent to the interests of the greater good so long as he is allowed to be heard, so long as we factor in what he or she wants. That's the Gambia we all fought for. That's the Gambia we want to entrench. Why did Solo Sandeng die? He wanted to express himself. Do we want the status quo to continue? No. Should people have the right to go out? It's not even a negotiable right. It is their right. It's an imperative. But that imperative comes with two things. The state coming out to protect life, properties, and the people doing it. But equally, those people behaving within the confines of the law. And if they happen to break the law, let the law consume them. But it's not for you, me, or a minister to decide whether his right to go out should be cancelled, annulled, or deferred. It's not ours. So what is not yours, you cannot take. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yes, you are right. That I agree 100%. What I'm trying to say here um, is that I'm not saying a minister or somebody should stop anybody because we all have rights and rights come to responsibilities. But what I'm also saying that, um, just like Oli said, this is a new democracy. And we are all protective of this Gambia. Aliu, I've been following. He's been one person who have been speaking up all these years against Jame. When some of us are not even thinking about even saying his name, not much more on Facebook or social, anywhere on social media. But again, in as much as uh, we want to do this, we also want to think about the effect it has on us, our society. We, we also, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not speaking, I'm holding brief for anybody. But I think it's, um, it's encouraging to see our ministers, our government um, engaging young people. A lot of people were elsewhere concerned 
because <coughs> we were like, what is the, why are they denying them permit? And the next minute we saw you guys, no, you guys were engaged. Yes. How was that meeting? How did it go? Well, we were honored to be in the presence of those people because mm -hmm. we know that in the Gambia before, as I said before, we didn't stand a chance there. And that I think I will commend the, gov the government for that. Mm -hmm. We had a discussion and I'm happy that they listened to us very well. Mm -hmm. See, but it will be very difficult for us to accept after everything that has been going on in this country, whenever somebody says that they want to come out, they tell them that national security and you fall back. Yeah. Until when will the narrative continue? It mm -hmm. has to be broken at some point. Mm -hmm. We cannot just keep um, perpetuating our rights because of national security. Mm -hmm. They have to make sure that our rights are protected and they do their job as a... Uh, the, 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 the officials, yes, the security for forces mm -hmm. to make sure that um, we, we get what we want and the, and the nation is also protected, but mm -hmm. they can just keep using that against us. So it's very difficult to sit in that spot and, and to just say, okay, fine, we've given up. Okay, okay it's, it's because um, people keep saying a new democracy, mm -hmm. a new democracy, mm -hmm. a new, but what is a new democracy? It's, uh, people are talking on Facebook and all that, but then it has to happen within the society. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are starting. This is new, that is something that is starting and it's democracy. And That's it will right. grow, mm -hmm. right? Why people need to understand that. So what, how do we make people understand? Should we just, people don't it's understand. It's a process. And it's a process. It's a process. It's a process, right? Um, how do we do it? We go on TV. I'm going to teach you about democracy. See? It's See? supposed to be See? in the I'm telling you something. This is for me. That's why we're here today. Great. That's why we're here today on national television. We had a show settled for this week. We said, no, Occupy Westfield is what's trending. It's and what Gambian good. wants to hear. Yes. So because we want to promote the agenda, the Gambian agenda. That is the most important agenda. Yes. So right what now. we should do mm -hmm. is have more shows like this yes. and enlighten people about what we're doing. Yeah. Not to tell us not to do this because there are risks involved. There no. are risks involved in everything. Fair if you want to consider the risks, we will never do anything ever in life. So mm -hmm. I don't want to keep... Um, people, the thing about the Gambian is that they are so peace loving. I don't know. They don't like chaos. They don't yeah. like uh, and people. They're convenient, yeah, not yeah. peace loving. Yeah. Yeah. So they like convenience, yeah. and you have to step out of your comfort zone sometimes yes. if you want to if you want to drive. Change. We have been through a lot though, yes. in the past twenty two years. This is tough for us. So we are we are like. Really? I know, but <laughs> Ligi, this is the time. Hang up, manga all of it. Okay, so Ligi, this is the time that we have to mold this democracy. Okay, yes. we can just wait for people to understand democracy. You leave it, yeah, and that's how you how the democracy grows. I agree, you leave it, mm. but then that's where the problem lies because right now, as we said, it's new democracy. Mm. People need to understand there's a lot of people who need to talk. No, I'm not going to do it. Yes, it's the response, but let the law deal with them. When chaos to army, but what are you saying? Everywhere. So I agree I entirely think, with you and I support I, what you guys want to do. Can I, because I, I, I understand your concerns. Let's take responsibility. Because we come back to Alice um, Post, right? Hmm. They can hold on to that because he wrote it. Yeah. He deleted it, he apologized. But am I convinced? I might not. Nah, um, yeah, but you're still going with yeah, probable cause. Let, let, and probable let, cause. Me. Can I say let something me, here? Let me, yeah. let me. Any, any person who holds onto that post, they're doing a deliberate to undermine our movement. But they understand very well that that is not what we are for. So if they, that is not, no. You cannot say that he mentioned riots, so I'm going to riot. I mean, you can base it on that because he's apologized and we've spoken on social media, we've spoken on the radios, on TV, that this is not a riot. So if you use that as an, as an excuse to riot, you're doing it deliberately and not because he said it. My concern uh, with some other Gambians too. You guys came out, you said you did no right. In fact, when you went to see the minister, you made an announcement saying you're postponing. You're not going, you're not, you're not, what did you say? The word was you were not uh, backing out, but you're postponing yes. pending the next week, this uh, Wednesday meeting, right? Um, a lot of people said, Ali Uban Batla, I'm not going to be a big link. I'm not going to be a big link. I'm not going to be a big link. Because so many people were saying, why did. Uh, the, the security forces occupy Westfield on Sunday when you guys told people you're not protesting. When you guys told people you are back, you know, you postponed, mm -hmm. but the security was there. But some people said, nah, I know, bigger, bigger. I know the photography computer, I'm like, not protesting. And then you come together at Friends huh? and this movement, that's how it came about. But when Ali spoke, was he speaking for everybody? You go again. Was it was he represented when the group spoke? Were they representing everybody? That was it safe for security not coming there because how many that you see the Indian that being here? But I, I guess they have listened because nobody showed up for protest. But then, okay, nobody showed, which I understand. But do you know the members of your some of your executive members, people like Killer Is? I want to name him here. Were there his actions were not really Killer Is my brother? Some people thought that was a little provoking. 
um, putting the camera on the security forces, that alone could have been a little... Um, um, we, um, the Occupy Westfield had distanced itself from that. Um, so from that the and, kind of and, you want. Yes, and, um, but I just wanted to address some concerns. Mm -hmm. You see, every time that we talk about rights, we are very, our society is always itching to talk about responsibility. Mm -hmm. It has become sort of a containment strategy mm -hmm. for the enactment of the rights of people. Like, ah, you're talking about the rights, why are you not talking about responsibility? The moment somebody talks about rights, they have unassumingly or assumingly already brought in responsibility. We have to always give the benefit of the doubt. We always have to have the presumption mm -hmm. of goodness, not the presumption of violence. And the, 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 the Declaration of Peaceful Assemblies in Africa by the AU, mm -hmm. this is what it's saying. Policing peaceful assemblies in Africa, it says the presumption should not be violence, the, of citizens, uh, that citizens are violent, the mm -hmm. presumption should be that they're peaceful. peaceful. That's why in the press release of the IGP against um, the, the, the protest, he said it is likely to cause a breach of the peace. Okay. And that presumption mm -hmm. was the same presumption they've used all over the world. All over the world against any people who want to rise up to assert their, 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 their voices. And we're just saying, and the other thing is that um, uh, when we talk about a new democracy, when we talk about Heidegger, uh, the philosopher, talks about um, newness and oldness and what the border that separates them. What is that border? Because that border itself has to stand bit, uh, around the new or the old. Now, where do we fix this border, this, this invisible border? What is new about New Gambia? What is, um, there has to be a newness. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting philosophical, but I think, I think, um, Yes, this is new, but um, the, what we are saying is that the entire uh, uh, corpus of our argument rests, rests on this, that democracy has to be a praxis. Mm -hmm. yes. It has to be yes. not theoretic. It's and we panic. have to stop assuming, and you can't teach people democracy. The fact that you are going to teach people democracy itself is actually problematic for democracy. Democracy has to be a lived experience. Democracy is actually, it's, it, it is a, it is, um, it is um, how would I put this? It is a, it's a worldview. It is a, a, it have to be lived. It has to, I mean, when you try to teach me democracy, chances are you're teaching me from your worldview, which my country, my worldview, and that's not democratic. Yeah. Right? Now, so democracy, democracy is a vocation. It's a lift. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to be all yeah. philosophical, yeah. but um, <laughs> I think I think it's necessary that we we, we try to uh, flesh out these things yeah. to understand that um, when we say that we our people don't understand democracy when they defeated a dictator of 22 years, what presumption are we making that they have they know enough to dictate to, to remove a dictator, but they don't know enough to be able to practice it? It took us 22 years, though. Yes, but yeah. I, but we still did it. <laughs> but but we still did it. You know, this Thank is. Thank you very much, Elio. This is this making people understand. This really, really is uh, very interesting. This is the kind of youth the Gambian need. I am Alan. Um, this is interesting, and uh, we want to engage you guys again and again because definitely um, this is the Gambia we want. We want Gambia where everybody is able to express themselves, but in a very responsible way. And I hope this movement move towards you know that direction because that's the movement that is the gambia we all look out for what's your last word to um, whoever what i want to say is that mm -hmm. people need to start listening mm -hmm. don't jump up don't mm -hmm. assume don't look beyond try to look beyond your your party you know when you're partisan like or my tribe or something like that people some people like people like me we look beyond to the gambia right we don't look about we don't look at um my next meal, yes, that is important, or what I'm going to um, give to my kids tomorrow. But you look at the greater good, like the greater goal, because there's always a greater goal, right? So we have to consider these things. And when you, like us, come up, because this, this is a big sacrifice. You have no idea. I've, I've never had a more stressful moment in my life. And if I had my way, I wouldn't be sitting here right now, because I wanted to be in the background, actually, working, but it doesn't work that way, because at some point, you started something, you have to take responsibility. Yeah. So it is really tough, and we're really young. 
and if you can support because we're just out to, to do good yeah. nothing more we're not getting anything out of this we're not getting paid by anybody no matter what anybody says oh they said that we're not no we're not we're not, no, no 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 <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not getting a boot from <laughs> this yeah. this is a sacrifice i've missed it's school funny. i've been i've been volunteering but i've not been able to go to office as frequently yeah. you know it's stressful sleeping at night is a problem and they should understand that this is a sacrifice for us now it's about whether the government is going to use national security as usual to deny us our rights no. or, if they, or if they're going to step up this is their chance yeah. to show the world what they represent but what do you think about engaging you though that was really encouraging oh, yes that was encouraging I'm, and i'm really grateful that they did that and that says a lot but still well this it's, it's, it's a process it's a process it's a process but it will be what i want them to know right now is that this thing has moved beyond nawek and if they deny us this permit it's going to say a lot about the gambian government what they can do is step up give us the security when we have our gathering, we'll invite them. Yeah. We'll invite Nawek because we had a whole program, right? Yeah. Nawek was there. We had a few Gambian artists. It was supposed to be a peaceful thing. And we were giving the government the opportunity to talk to the people to ease their frustrations. Yeah. And they should look at the good side of it. We were not going to just go there and start yelling, no, yeah. that would come. Power to the people and all that. It's, it's, it's good, but we're going to talk sense there. We're going to speak <laughs> and we're going to listen to each other. Yeah. And it will be a starting for, point for something way bigger, where we'll go out into the street, occupy a space, and we will call the Jaikati Nopalbi, Jaikati Banana Bi, Nyum Tam Nyu, Nyuwa, Nyu Dika Senkado, Nyuwa Tan Sen Constancy. This is something new. The new Gambia needs a paradigm shift. Definitely. From what was to what ought to be. What ought to be in the new Gambia? A Gambia that's tolerant, a Gambia that's accepting of dissent, a Gambia that will become a social experiment, like Jeremy Bantam would have said, for the interests of the greater good. Not to entrench, promulgate, or promote a certain ideology. What I have been seeing quite a lot on social media, Gambian social media, is partisanship, ethnocentric utterances that are not good for anybody. See, Gambia is a nation state. If we are building a nation state, we put all these other nuances aside, tribes, social, cultural, that's not, we are Gambians, we should identify as Gambians. And you know what? People who are for Occupy Westfield are not bad Gambians. And guess what? Most of the time, rights are not given by the state, but rights are demanded by the citizenry, and the citizenry must demand, must, that's the operative word, must demand for what is theirs, this is an entrenched right once again that is non-negotiable and people should not even sit on a table to say, I am going to do this. Go ahead and do it and let the state do what it ought to do. Protect you and if you mess up, let the law consume you, period. Period. Oli, what did you Okay, um, I agree with, I mean, I'm, I'm actually even glad that you've gone to this extent to explain what your movement is about. So basically, from people sitting at home, right? Okay, I'm guessing everybody watching then they'll understand. But from people that are sitting at home, what they understand with this whole Occupy Westfield is, let's go out of Westfield and protest against Nawek. Let's go out of Westfield and riot against Nawek. Because that's the message that was out. But then, you guys had a dialogue with the minister. And you said we're not cancelling, we're postponing. Yes, you're you're talking to them, which is fair enough. So for me, I'm, I'm equally a youth, and then I have there's so many issues that are going on that are of concern to me, right? So the way you, uh, Martin has just explained, I mean, I'm I'm glad that I had this opportunity to sit and even understand better. And I guess people who are watching would understand better as well. So it just goes back to what I was saying. See, beginning, what so learn? Do you see, John? Why what be learn at all? So what be look on your gifts every way? Ni I hale len talk and you know them West Valley versus Hara. You could do it. And then Gambia, we're coming. It's new Gambia for over 22 years or 52 years, right? Every time there's a protest, most of the town are well. Mrs. Sen back and them have made their so. Whose fault? I know. Whose fault? It might be government. It might be people. No, no. Whose fault? It depends on chaos. I mean, if there's chaos. But who's right? Who's responsible is it to secure? Thank you. Protect the citizens, mm. right? But if the citizens you may challenge officers or whatever happens, right? And then chaos and um, chaos to America, one bad element can create a whole problem. What happened you or Ali that wasn't your intention? Like a being a just bad element, more you're in, I'll capitalize on this movement.
So what the father and I'm glad that you've made it very clear mm -hmm. and you guys are not out to create any problem. You guys are not out to create any situation Mohammed that cannot be contained. But yes, you talked about other movements and getting permit. This one, you guys are on the negotiating table, fair enough. And I don't think the government would deny you your rights. I don't think you come up with another thing and say, I want to go to this place to protect, you know, no, using again national security. So this is the beginning. Yes, they're using national security as they said. They might know something we don't know. So yes, they can use national security now, but maybe going forward, they'll have another excuse or they'll give you your fund. So for that reason, after December, I'll join. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. now. Thank you, thank you, Oli. Thank you very much, guys. I think this was a very interesting uh, discussion. It gave us, Ali. You want to say? I, I didn't do my last. Okay, word. go ahead, Ali. Okay. Ali wants to have the last word. Go ahead, Ali. Um, I mm -hmm. just wanted to say. Um, sometimes when I speak, it's I'm a very passionate person when I speak and mm -hmm. when I write. Maybe that's why that rioting too uh -huh. I'm a very personal Next person. Next time, Ali. Yeah. No, you are, you are a not huge leader. Yeah. And, um, it's, yeah. And, um, um, so, um, they call, they call so yeah. when I speak, <laughs> um, when I speak, um, it's not out of um, some, inborn, some un inborn anger or yeah. whatever. It's just I'm passionate. Yeah. And the next thing is um, that, no, we are saying that that permit itself, it's an unconstitutional provision. Section 5 of the Public Order Act, and it should be struck out, and Usainu and Co are challenging it in the Supreme Court of the Gambia, and it should go. We and hope that will go in the... So we yes. Take it to the National Assembly? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. They they're not, the Supreme yeah, Court, it's in the Supreme Court. I think, and, that, I think and, that is going and, to be on the uh, yes. reforms. And the other thing process. is, I wanted to say is, uh, mm -hmm. this is very important, is that uh, we, how do we negotiate between um, the right of the citizen and that right which is protected by the state but the state can always take it and that's what we just saw our rights were cancelled literally no can the government protect rights that it can cancel you know so um, we're saying um, also that Occupy Westfield is about community and continuity that instead of saying we are going to promote um, one party group think Double think, no, nah, we not even double think, but group think. We are saying we are affording the opportunities to our communities, to the suffering woman and man, mm -hmm. to the person who is underrepresented, somebody who is forgotten or literally silenced because maybe they are not educated or maybe they, you know, they 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 were APRC sympathizers and every time they speak, like, I have APRC, I don't support. <laughs> and there is a silencing mechanism in the society that we everybody has the right to say whatever they want to say. Uh, thank you very much. I think this is very interesting. Uh, actually, I said it earlier. This is the new Gambia, honestly. I know there are a lot of things that we need to work on. It's a process. It's nine months. But for us to be here having this discussion, I said it when we had APRC. For me to even have the courage, invite an, an uh, opposition leader, for him to say whatever he said, for us to have this kind of discussion, it's a new Gambia. Yes, there are so many things that we need to work on. The government needs to work on so many things. But citizens also should know this government needs to give in time. Because obviously what we have gone through, what we have been through 22 years is a lot. And thank you so much for coming. And uh, we look forward to coming to the protest ourselves. Because, I mean, now it affects all of us. But again, we want to do it when we know the mandate is just to enlighten and also engage government. That is very important. And thank you very much. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. And until we come your way next week, inshallah, good night and see you next week. <laughs>